Welcome to DPV. We're here with Chris and his 1970 AMC Rebel. On the underpowered tour, we're gonna do a little walk around. 380 miles in, and we're still, uh, it still operates. We ran it down the drag strip, and we're still running good, which is a win for everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is my 1970 AMC Rebel machine, special edition, the machine edition. Comes with the red, white, and blue stripe. This is a, the stripe I got from John Newell in Canada. He's the stripe AMC a Rebel stripe guy. That's all he does is Rebel. He makes some other pieces too, but mainly that. So this car I restored myself, God, about five, six years ago. Um, I bought it as a wouldn't call it a basket case, but a box of parts, pretty much. It came with the no motor inside the, under the hood, of course, no motor in it. All the random pieces were in the trunk, and the motor that I got it with was in a, uh, wrapped in cellophane um, on, a, on a pallet, which ended up being the wrong motor. And the guy, a shout to the guy I got the car from, Dan Curtis, actually, when I opened the motor up, when I was ready to install it, like a year later, I opened it up and saw it was wrong numbers to match the car. So I, you know, I thought, well, I bought this car off the internet. This guy, Dan, I really like him, he's nice. So um, I called him up and said, hey, you know, just heads up, you sent me, the, I got the wrong motor with the car. And he actually uh, got me the right motor and swapped him out. Right on. Yeah, and it was crazy because part of the thing of this car is uh, when he just wanted the short block, he, he didn't want the cam or the valve train. So I pulled the cam out and it was a factory cam that had been reground and all it said was engraved on the back was custom what right so i didn't have any specs on it so when i built the the motor because the second motor i, I didn't want because i was going to tear the first one down anyways just to verify all the specs kind of do a, a backyard blueprint so to speak so i tore it down and i specced out the cam and the i can't remember the exact uh dimensions of it but whoever picked it out i think did a really good job because it was like uh, 520 lift with a uh, 240 duration. So a decent cam, but not crazy. So I went with that cam. Right on. And that's what it got. So let's check out under the hood. Yeah. Now, mind you, this is a driver. It's not like a, sure. it's not a show queen. So it's missing some factory pieces, but for the most part, I tried to keep it as close to the way it came from the factory as possible. Oh, look at that uh, overflow tank. That was uh, that was just put on for this event. Oh, yeah? Yes. You know, because I know the drag strip yeah. always wants an overflow tank. That's awesome. Yeah. Got the AMC turquoise. Oh, I think it's called Almosa Blue. Almosa Blue. Almosa Blue, okay. yeah. So now the unobtainium parts on this car, which... Uh, came with the car are the exhaust manifolds are unique to this one year only vehicle oh. and so is the intake manifold and they're both uh amc machine rebel machine um unique only to you're this running car. a factory intake factory intake factory exhaust manifolds with a factory exhaust two and a quarter okay two and a quarter inch exhaust Very cool. And it's missing most of the, you know, it's got some stuff here that for the cold air oh. and another piece that bolts to this little tub okay. that uh, opens and closes, which I've got the piece that opens and closes. I don't have the plate, which I could probably make one. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things, ooh, you know, where do you spend your time? Yeah. What is this little bag? This right here is your AMC washer bag. It's even, oh no, it's empty. Um, which I don't have hooked up because right now the wiper switch only works in the uh, squirt position. Oh. So that's the only time I get wipers. So basically, I don't drive it in the rain, but if it yeah. rains and I was to drive somewhere where it's foggy or rainy, I would have to hit that wiper to get the, and I don't want to be squirting. Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> and it's not a, you know, this is not a daily driver. It's a cruiser, but not a daily driver. Yeah. We should uh, check out the interior. Okay, awesome. So were you able to buy these covers or? Yep, the, the legendary interiors, somewhere in uh, New York. That steering wheel is cool. This the is what makes it motors. even cooler. Watch this. Oh. That's what they call a rim blow. Um, I think a lot of different companies used it in the 70s. How did that work? You squeeze that rubber thing. It's on the inside. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. And that, this, this here. Okay. 
That steering wheel came with the car. It was cracked and damaged, and there was a guy, um, I think his last name was Tarkenton. I remember that because Fran Tarkenton. There's a guy yeah. in Florida who rebuilds those. Okay. And it wasn't cheap, but it came out. I mean, it's been on the car for five, six years now, and it's no drama. Right on. Yeah. These are 15 inch Kelsey Hayes wheels that are specific to 1970, known as machine wheels, but you could order them, I think, in 70 and 71 on the Javelin with certain packages. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of, and they're very unique. They're, uh, they're another part to this car that's really hard to get. Hard to get. Okay. Hard. Now, this, this car originally uh, was in Carlsbad. And there's a drag strip in Carlsbad, and I'm pretty sure they were running it down the drag strip there in Carlsbad. Yeah. Because the wheel, the, the wheel, it was this was cut out. Oh. This was cut out and opened up, and where the shifter is was cut out a big hole. Oh, okay. So what, those were parts that I had to replace. I had to graft in new stuff there. It's funny because I went online and I looked all, all over uh, for vintage pictures of Carlsbad Raceway, hoping to see a picture of this car, and I didn't because it was... It was painted unique when I got it. It had like a moon and stars okay. painted on the trunk. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks, Chris, for uh, joining us on the Underpower Tour. It was a pretty awesome trip. It was super awesome. So, and thanks for showing off your 1970 oh, machine. You're very welcome. Like I told you earlier, this, uh, this car was built with trips exactly like this in mind. Go Perfect. out maybe run it down the drag strip don't build it like super fast and super heavy just a good fun cruiser yeah good uh yeah. four or five hundred mile trip yep perfect but six when it's all said and done <laughs> yeah yeah right? we still got to make it from clarkson to yeah Spokane. yeah so anyway that is it for this episode thank you so much for watching wheel it wreck it wrench it repeat yep. see you next time